a brief documentary about mass customization. Before the first industrial revolution, manufactured goods were made by highly skilled craftspeople, resulting in products that met exactly the customer's needs but at a high price and low volume. This production system is known as craft production. All that changed when Henry Ford combined the idea of interchangeable parts with the assembly line, transforming the manufacturer. The mass production era had begun. The mass production system reduced the cost per unit and increased production volume. However, it had limited product variety. The next era, the lean production, solved part of this problem. It focused on producing a finite number of variants of a single product designed to meet the demands of segmented markets while eliminating waste on the production process and improving quality. However, to meet the demands of each customer while producing in high volumes and low costs, a new concept appeared, mass customization. To better understand the concept of mass customization, consider a cup. A mass production company would produce the same cup with the same color and same shape. A lean production company would produce cups with two different sizes for the customers to choose from and with a few options of colors. In a mass customization company, however, the customer would be able to order their own cup with the color, text, pictures and size that they wanted. When the term mass customization first appeared, it seemed contradictory. Producing unique products that satisfy each customer requirement at costs usually achievable only through mass production seemed hard to accomplish. But a few key factors made it possible. The emergency of the internet, flexible processes, organizational structures, and modularity. While the internet gives manufacturers a platform for taking orders from a mass audience for customized products, they all make the company more responsive to answer and to adjust to the customer's demands. There are three most common types of mass customization. The first type is make to stock. These products are manufactured to satisfy innumerable customer's needs with a single product. The customer can adjust it to his or her own needs. An example of this kind of product would be a smartphone. The second type is assemble to order. In this type, the company pre-produces modules and assembles them according to the customer order, as Dell computers, in which it is possible to choose the processor, the memory, and other features. The third type is make to order. In this case, the manufacturing process starts only after receiving a customer's order, like most types of restaurants. Due to the extraordinary potential of mass customization to satisfy two competing priorities simultaneously, an increasing number of companies is embracing it. Dell, Subway and Nike are just a few that have been successful in its application. With mass customization, consumers get a reasonably priced, tailor-made product reflecting their personal selection of colors, features, functions and styles. Producers, for their part, get to reduce their inventory's costs, to eliminate waste in their supply chains and to obtain more accurate information about demand. In short, a win-win proposition. 